Hey guys. All right, welcome back to another episode of Try Hat Me. Today we're gonna do Windows Fundamentals 2. Uh, I already load my attack box. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to complete these tasks. And as I always recommend to read through all these tasks to get a better understanding, uh, you know, on these IT stuff, cybersecurity. So let's uh, get right into it. Task one, introduction just talks about loading the virtual machine. You just complete this real easy. Then task two, system configuration. So let's show split and so the first question is answer the questions below. What is the name of the service that lists system internals as the manufacturer? So let's go back up here. Uh, right click search and let's go ms config system configuration okay all right it's loading there you go tell us about general boot startup i mean service startup and tools so it's talking about naming the service so let's go services and it says system eternals as the manufacturer so manufacturer where is it system Etern right here so the service is ps shut down got that Home is home is the Windows license register to. Let's go tools about Windows. Let's launch this. It is window user Windows user. And the next one is, what is the command for Windows troubleshooting? Let's close this. Windows troubleshooting. All right. I believe this the whole thing. So copy and paste the Windows slash system 32. Awesome. Then the last question is, what command will open the control panel? The answer is the name of dot exe not the full path okay let's see control panel let's see basic system properties might be that one it so let's try this one so control panel, I'm just going to highlight control EXE since it looks like it. Yep. All right. Task three, change UAC settings. So it talks about user control, user account control. Uh, what is the command to open user account control settings? The answer is the name of the .exe file, not the full path. So UAE right here so copy and paste user account control settings exe awesome all right task four computer management so it talks about computer management and system configuration so let's highlight that what's the question what is the command to open computer management the answer is the name of the dot m a C file, not the full path. So it talks about this. Copy and paste. All right. Next question. At what time every day is the Google update task machine UA task configured to run? Let's find this out. So let's launch this. So it's talking about 
computer management. Okay. So it's an event task schedule. Let's see. Let's go back on. So it's event viewer. So event custom application. Windows lock. All right, I'm trying to find, that's not it. Okay, let's see, Windows Backup. Oh, my mouse is, there you go. I'm pretty sure it's task schedule. There you go, right here. Google update task machine UA. So it's at 6.15 a.m. It says, what is the name of the hidden folder that is share? All right, let's go back out. Actually, yeah, share folder, shares. And this looks like it. Let's see. Yeah. Cool. And that's task, task file system information. Let's close this out. Well, sorry guys. What's the command to open system information? The answer is the name of the .exe file, not the full path. So system information. Okay, so msinfo32.exe, awesome. What is listed under the system name? Let's launch this system name. This one, THM WinFun. Copy and paste, let's delete this, awesome. Under environmental variables, what is the value of comp spec? So, Let's see, where is software? All right, environmental variables, value. So let's copy and paste and delete the com spec and the system. Awesome. All right, task six resource monitor. Let's X out this one. This talks about resource monitor. What is the command to open resource monitor? The answer is the name of the .exe file, not the full path. So resource monitor right here. Resmon.exe. Awesome. Task seven, command prompt. So it talks about command prompt to go to open system configuration. You can follow along, but we're just gonna answer the questions. In system configuration, what is the full command for internet protocol configuration? So internet protocol conf configuration, and it's talking about the full command. So it's the select command, copy and paste. And it says, well, for the IP config command, how do you show detailed information? So let's scroll back up. So it talks about IP config and judging from the answer, I believe is slash all. All display full configuration information, yeah. So IP config slash all. Awesome. 
Last one, task eight, registry editor. And the question is, what is the full command? What is the command to open the registry editor? The answer is the name of the .exe file, not the full path. So registry editor. And right here, register32.exe. Awesome. And task nine conclusion talks about MS config, how to get there, and you just could complete. There you go, guys. Complete the room, share on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, the reason why I can do this so fast because I just did them earlier and it's fresh on my mind, but it's a good refresh, refresher for me. And I hope this video helped you guys. Please give a thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button, uh, notification bell. I'm trying to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or sometime Monday and Friday, depending how busy I am. And currently, I'm not in the IT industry, but this is something I like doing. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to switch career in the future, near future. And currently, I am active, certified in A+, Network+, Plus, Pentest+, Plus, Security+, Plus, CYSA+. Plus, and I will make those videos how I pass these uh, certification tests in a timely manner. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And till next video, thanks.